Hi again, everyone. This is Jeff Morrow with Sierra Analytics, and I'm here with another featured feature for HD Examiner. Today's featured feature is exporting to PyMole. Now, as many of you already know, PyMole is a useful tool for visualizing proteins. You can make all of those neat uh, protein images that you see in posters and literature and so forth. PyMole is available. Uh, there's both an open source version and a pay version. The open source version is available on SourceForge, and the pay version is available at pymole.org. So if you're not familiar with those, go and check them out. They're really good tools. Now what HD Examiner can do is it can take a heat map like, like the one I'm showing here, and it can export a row of that heat map that you can embed onto your protein directly in PyMole. So to do that, uh, you can right click on HD Examiner's uh, heat map and select PyMole export. And there are several things here. So there's a save directory and if you click on this, you can tell it where you want to save. So I'm gonna put it in this export folder. You can tell it whether to overwrite existing files or, or not. You can uh, tell HD Examiner what you want the neutral color to be, meaning the, the color that doesn't have any data associated with it. So by default, it's just a nice gray. And then finally, you can say uh, which residue maps to which. So what does this mean? Well, sometimes uh, in HD Examiner, you'll be studying a particular piece of a larger protein. And in that case, if you color uh, residue one relative to HD Examiner to residue one in PyMole, they might actually be different residues. So what this means is PDB residue one maps to HD Examiner residue, uh, in this case one, is the default. If you're only uh, using part of the protein in HD Examiner, then you would change this number to, to map PDB residue one to some HD examiner residue. And bear in mind, this number can actually go negative, negative or positive, okay? So the default is one, and that's what I'm gonna do here. So we hit okay. And what we get, here's that folder I just uh, saved into. What you get is a whole bunch of different text files one for each time point. And each of these files represents one row of your heat map. So the five second one starts off yellow and then green and red and so forth, uh, the 10 second one, etc. So showing you this again, each of these files looks like this. This is actually a PyMole script. So let's run it in PyMole. So I'm bringing up PyMole, and the first thing to do here is to load my PDB file. PDB is a, a protein uh, shape format that PyMole can read. So I'm gonna open this. I'm going to browse to uh, the data file. Whoops, there's that, and that, and that and calcineurin is the one that we want. So there's our protein, uh, but it's not in a very friendly format. So what you can do here in PyMole, these buttons over here mean, uh, the S and the H mean show and hide. So first I'm gonna hide everything, and then I'm gonna show a nifty thing that PyMole does called the cartoon mode. And that gives you the shape of a protein that you're more uh, familiar with in the literature. So here's our protein. And now all I have to do is run, under file, run, and run one of those scripts that I just created with HD Examiner. I'm gonna show all files because they're actually text files. I'm gonna pick the 722nd one, and it runs that script and colors the protein based on the 720 row here. So that's it. 
from here in Pymol, you can you can export things, you can you know you can move the protein around however you like, and then take a snapshot and save it as a file that you can put on your poster. Any of those things are fine, but really all you need to do is export from HD Examiner, then load up your protein in Pymol and run the scripts that HD Examiner uh, spat out for you. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. This is Jeff Morrow with Sierra Analytics. Thanks for watching.